So here we have the SD card and here we have the phone. When you buy your uh, SD card, make sure that you buy it from a reliable supplier because there are a lot of scam cards. Like this card is a complete scam. Uh, this card is uh, completely legit. Uh, so there are a lot of scam cards like this one on Wish, uh, Alibaba, Amazon. If it's super cheap, it's uh, probably fake. So when you buy an SD card, make sure it's from a reliable supplier so uh, you don't get scammed. There are a lot of scams out there. Just wanted to say that. But we're going to take our real SD card and install it in the phone. So uh, hang on. Rotate your phone all around until you find this little thing. You know, uh, insert something here, like preferably the little pin that your phone was supplied to, and the SIM card tray will then uh, be out. So just like that. Here we can see. Now your phone will probably complain. So there we have it, beautiful. There is my SIM card, of course. I'm well, gonna put that away for the time of being. And my old little card there. So what you do is you just place this little SD card inside this tiny tray, like that. And your SIM card as well, but I'm going to remove this soon, so this is just for tutorial purposes. And so your SIM card and your SD card, and you just insert it. Be a little bit careful, just like that, and click. Now it's in. And now we can begin the process inside the phone. And if your phone does not have space for a little SD card like that, well, chances are you cannot expand the memory at all on your phone, sadly. Most usually, phones that have capabilities for dual SIM card are the ones that also have capability to expand the memory uh, with another SD card. Which means you have to choose if you want expanded memory or two SIM cards um, in most cases. So let's go into the internal phone setup. So uh, we just insert it. It doesn't support or anything like that and we get a little um, notification here. You don't need to care about that, just remove it. And uh, now it asks us, how will you use this SD card? Use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage? And we're going to click phone storage. And then we'll get this um, little format option again which we're going to click yes on and uh, this is going to take a little while and it's going to be formatted so uh, just let it format now you can get the option to move files media and certain apps to this samsung card you don't need to do this but you can do it and for the sake of this video i'm going to select move content Okay, so now the SD card should be a part of the system storage and you can see that uh, it has indeed increased quite much. So fantastic, uh, and uh, that is that. We have now increased our phone's memory. Now we are inside the phone again and uh, now you can see that we have uh, a little new notification unsupported Samsung SD card. Click on this one and it asks you to format the card. But uh, click that away and here we can see we can choose use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage. Now uh, I have found out that um, use it as extra phone storage can sometimes mess it up a little bit for you because if you want to remove it you will have problem with your system files and it's more like uh, your phone's memory is replaced by the SD card rather than uh, you'll have it all extra. So to have it all extra I actually would indeed set it up as portable storage. So click on that and uh, format the SD card. And as you can see Samsung SD card is now ready. So we just click done and uh, we can now see it inside uh, storage. We have both the SD card and the internal storage, which uh, will give us the maximum available storage. Much better, much better. So uh, actually, you might want to expand your phone's memory, but uh, to get the most of everything, 
I instead would set it up as a you know removable device so you can remove it uh, if you want. You can like instead go into the camera app, settings, and inside the settings we can set it to save to SD card. Because uh, realistically this is where uh, the biggest files will be kind of saved. So there you kind of go, you can set up which applications will store in the SD card. You'll have much better control over the storage and where your files go and if you want to you can remove it to transfer it to other devices and stuff like that. So uh, I would prefer using this and it's also easier to take your um, old SD card to a new phone as well. If you want to use it in a new phone then you can just uh, put it in there basically, much better. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Jim Odesen signing out.